well if it isn't the honorary knight. I'm just on my way out to gather some intel. I didn't expect to run into you here. Huh? Judging by your expression, you must have run into some trouble. Master Dean tasked us with a special assignment, but things seem to have run a great. No need to get down on yourself. Sometimes things just don't turn out as planned. Even I can't guarantee useful intel every time I'm dispatched. You just have to keep at it and never give up. <laughs> hey, why don't you let me try to help? What's the problem? Master Jean asked us to build a connection with someone named Schubert Lawrence. But it turns out that he's a peculiar character that doesn't listen to anyone. Especially Paimon. Aha, Schubert! I know him! Let me guess, he said you... <laughs> I've been on the receiving end of his lectures many a time. The Lawrence clan can be very particular about such things. Uh... You mean heaven? As aristocrats, they believe there should... However, there is one exception. Ooh. That's right. Not only is she from the Lawrence clan, but she's also Captain... Eula is special. She's not quite like the other members of her clan. She has her own beliefs and it shows. In other words, she doesn't really adhere to the strict rules and conventions of her family. However, she's still quite knowledgeable about dealing with the Lawrences. I'm sure you'll see what I mean if you meet her. Hmm... That's strange. If you is a member of the Lawrence clan, then why would Master Jean choose us for the task? Couldn't she just ask Eula? Uh, well, it's a little complicated. Basically, the Lawrence clan has frowned upon the fact that Eula joined the Knights. Her family members don't particularly care for her. In their eyes, Eula is nothing but a traitor to the family. She's very easy to get along with. Just explain the situation, and I'm sure she'll help you come up with a way to get along with Schubert. In fact, I think she's out in the wilderness. Thanks, Amber. Good luck, you two. You don't think twice before reaching for your sword, do you? <laughs> do you have any idea how long I've been tracking these targets? And now you get to stake a claim. <laughs> you think you're stronger because you got to them first? <laughs> Mark my words, vengeance will be mine. Uh, what? That's right. I heard the commotion and came as swiftly as I could, only to find you two already fighting the Fatui. Not only that, you are making quick work of them, too. If I didn't make my move, you would have been able to take all the credit. Still, I'm glad you're unscathed. Confronting that number of Fatui at once can be dangerous. Uh, sorry, Paimon doesn't understand what you mean, but thanks for your concern. Concern? Why would I be concerned for the safety of my arch enemies? Arch enemies? Wait a minute! You were saying how glad you were that we were unscathed a second ago! By which I meant, if you were injured, I'd have to escort two strangers guilty of stealing my targets all the way back to Mondstadt. Which would mean you'd cause me even more trouble. My vengeance would be swifter still. Huh? So that's how you see all this? Yes, that's me. Hyman thinks she's pretty strange. Although at least we can communicate with her. <laughs> You dare to call someone you've just met strange? Forget the aristocracy. That's rude even by normal standards. Speaking of which, how do you know my name? This is the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. And speaking of rude, we're trying to investigate an aristocrat named Schubert Lawrence. He's so obsessed with etiquette that he's not even willing to speak with us. <laughs> I understand now. That's my uncle, all right. But why do you mean to investigate him? <sighs> I see. <laughs> you have some nerve to faming a family member right in front of me. I will have vengeance for this, too. No, no, no! 
This is an assignment from Master Jean. It's just an investigation, that's all. To the everyday citizens of Mondstadt, everyone in the Lawrence clan is scum. It's natural for rumors and unwarranted gossip to lead to such suspicion. Hard to avoid such a reputation when you're known as the ruthless rulers of old Mondstadt. Oh, so that's what you think of me? Hm. Yet another transgression to avenge. But... didn't you say it first? Oh... <laughs> Curious. We've only just met, and you've already given me three causes for vengeance. It's been a while since I've encountered anyone as interesting as you. I assume you need me to teach you the conduct of the Lawrence clan. Only then will you finally be able to communicate with my uncle, correct? That's right. Amber told us to come and talk to you. Well then, let's begin your training immediately. It'll be easier to train when we're back in Mondstadt. We'll require other people. We can put that aside for now. Besides, if it's the acting Grandmaster's assignment, and Amber's the one who recommended me, I should comply. <laughs> 